about a half hour into the stage six turbo kit. Um, you're gonna get bloody knuckles. There's um, some heat shields and stuff you gotta get around the turbo, which show them. Them are in there, broken, cut, whatever. Um, but uh, <clears throat> you're gonna have to get the air box off, and in order to do that, there's well. We got it loose, but that just gives you extra room to get in here. Let me see. Oh, you got it. Um, but you gotta you gotta loosen up this back plate. I guess it's probably the same if it's a two seater, but as far as the four seater goes, you gotta loosen up that back plate. There's two bolts you gotta get to from back here. Um, I had to do that because this Allen wrench I needed to. Um, get a little bit more leverage it just happened to be in a bad spot so I got one off already um, oh, nice. I put some more heat to it the first one came out relatively fine once I put the heat to it um, the biggest pain in the butt so far was the heat shields and that um, air box. So the fuel pump, that should go simple. I'm just kind of tackling this while I got the wife in here helping me. All right, little sneak peek uh, in the garage again. Doing the fuel pump. Um, now with the... <clears throat> the video I seen, they didn't have this on there. This is a pain in the butt. And I'm pretty sure in order to get this off, because all your connections go through there, I would have to take this whole bottom pan off, which means removing the center center console, um, the, the frame, the, the seat frame going probably all the way across. A uh, bit of a pain in the butt, because I can't get this pushed back enough with this on here so this might get cut um a lot of the pieces like the heat shield and stuff like that not going on the only time i'm ever going to probably deal with this ever again is if that fuel pump goes bad which i doubt that's going to happen but um i just figured i'd show you guys that because this is kind of a pain in the butt if you are looking forward to putting a stage six in or upgrading your fuel pump or replacing your fuel pump um, i would recommend maybe washing your machine uh, if you notice there's a lot of red clay i never wash this from durham town so hey it is what it is but moving on getting get the fuel pump in today um well gotta get a lot of things done today but waiting on a certain tool to finish getting the turbo off so moving on all right little update um so far this whole uh stage six install is going pretty rough <laughs> uh got the fuel pump out um got the new one getting ready to go in they give you a new filter and all that stuff for that um not gonna lie the only thing that has gone flawless was taking the 7.5 amp fuse and putting a 20 amp fuse in for the fuel pump. Nailed that, like, got it. It was no problem. Everything else has been an issue. Um, this ring here, just an FYI, you can take that off with a screwdriver and a hammer. Um, at first I wanted to use a wrench, so that's that. Um, Injectors Went to go put the big injectors in and I lost a stinking clip because there's an extension on the new injectors because they're bigger That's gone like gone drop drop the uh, Drop the belly pan could not find it looked everywhere so I have a race in like five days five days from now this machine needs to be up and running um with 
the fuel that's in it needs to be ran out and gone um but uh moved on to the map tuner and this is nothing against evo or anything like that it's just i think everything was against me but um I'm thinking grab the map tuner no big deal go to upload it I just they I guess they never sent the email that I needed but even that was an absolute pain in the butt so they recommend taking the bed out but I just you, you gotta basically take the cage off um, and I'm just not doing that and I thought about cutting the cage out, but I want to keep this in. I like having this as far as um, I don't see the benefit of removing this. It is still a race machine, but we also use this for trail riding. So I want to keep the bed in here. But um, I mean, it's going so far, I guess. The exhaust is off the turbo and I'm just waiting on Tom to bring me some six millimeter Allen sockets to get to the... Uh, the turbo manifold to get that off so maybe things will start getting smoother but it won't be complete until wednesday because that's i got a hold of evo customer service so far was good with evo um some of those guys know know me from talking one of them's a volunteer firefighter like myself so we talked about that so we know who each other are now but um, um eric there helped me out big time um as well but uh yeah everybody at evo so far has been real real helpful so um that is an update hopefully this thing can be at the races saturday i'm hopeful i am hopeful but it's been it's been rough a lot of words have been said for sure all right what what a day um <laughs> it's just been a world world one day but if you look there's no stuff there there's no turbo finally i finally got it out i am i'm just a wreck um better news i found the clip that i lost for the injector after i paid 18 dollars for shipping to get one here two days but evo like i said before has been great to work with thing i want to show you is uh these turbos next to one another when i looked at the dynamite in the box comparing it just visually when the stock one was still in the car i'm like i hope i didn't waste my money like it doesn't look any different but there is a big difference in size here uh the turbo housing that's there's there's quite a difference there so pretty happy um this one's also going to be water cooled so um yeah pretty pretty stoked on that um yeah but this this was a bugger look at folks <laughs> if you got the money for this kit i'm just gonna say it is doable you can install the kit yourself there's a lot of unprofessional words that I said today <laughs> and tempers short all right hopefully that first part took GoPro just decided to shut off at still has three quarter percent battery anyways uh it th this project it is doable if you're mechanically client enough to work on stuff it is doable but there's frustrations along the way, just FYI. So as far as what we have accomplished now, fuel pump is in, fuel pump fuse is in. That's the easiest part of this whole job. Turbo's out, um, and I found the clip for the injector so I can get the injectors in. Um, I'll probably do that next because I feel that's going to be the next easiest job. Um so i'm just switching stuff over and then uh i'll probably work on turbo tomorrow and the head studs tomorrow so once the turbo's in then it's the head studs and then it's go time um yeah so 
<clears throat> thanks for following along hopefully you guys are watching hopefully this is entertaining because it is rough rough i hope this car i hope this car runs good like i'm i'm expecting a big big difference now it should be so evo claims that this the tune i have is 204 stage four a 95 octane uh to the wheel or uh engine and then i'm gonna run 110 uh so that's 260 engine uh i think it's like 158 to the ground with uh with this kit i'm installing so um but anyways there's you know 60 horse or 50 56 horsepower difference there so hopefully hopefully there's some noticeable gain i'm i'm pretty excited so this will be super bus and will be the leader of our pack faux show <laughs> yeah buddy i couldn't uh couldn't resist painting some for the old super bus um that way when you look back in the engine bay you know it's probably been a part but we got one uh stud out of six we need to replace so as far as the top end goes it looks pretty good uh Yep, looks good. This is not gonna be, uh, oh yeah, look at Turbo is mounted. So it's just sitting in there right now. It's not completely done, but uh, it's on the motor. So we're getting there one thing at a time. Like I said, fuel pump's done. Injectors are now in. So that's just one more thing off the list. But uh, yeah, time to get the torque wrench out and start with my first head stud, so. Um, I'm not going to do a tutorial because, well, I don't want to tell you how to do something wrong. <laughs> so if I hurt my motor, it's my motor. Um, not saying I'm going to do something wrong, but uh, yeah. So anyways, this is the next step. So we got ARP head studs to install, six of them. Two, four, six. So that's going to be fun. It's only probably... 11.30 at night, and uh, I'm just going to keep going until I really can't think anymore. So, I'll let you know when that's ready. Okay, day like 45 on this project, what it feels like. Lots of uh, late, late nights, early mornings, I could say. We are downloading the 91 tune because I still have a little bit of... 95 octane in there so i got some 110 in it and uh i'm gonna just run the 110 a little bit and then i'll top it off and we'll retune it um but everything's installed the water coolant lines are hooked up installed new fresh gap spark plugs fresh oil all the uh everything is tight i just uh i couldn't install the airbox because I needed to tighten up a couple of things in the coolant lines. Um, so the, the other coolant lines that hook up to the motor, then were kind of a pain in the butt to get to. They're doable. Um, I will say, I said earlier, like, if you can't, programming complete. Um, I said if you could get this kit, pay someone else to do it. Look, I just, I'm an impatient person and i don't want to screw it up so also new air filter everything is new in this so it should go off without a hitch um i think i'm ready for fire air box gotta get the air box in we gotta install that and then we're ready for fire pretty rolled it over already smooth Hopefully she just fires right up. Okay. Everything's hooked up. Nope, not yet. Too excited. I just bolted the air box in. I still gotta put the stinking intake tube and the air filter on it. All right. Okay. 
So I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna prime up the oil system. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna get some, some oil in the turbo. That's one of the things they recommended. Plug the fuel pump back in. Um, I already ran the key a couple times checking for any leaks in the fuel system with the injectors and everything and all that's good. So basically the fuel pump is unplugged. I'm just going to crank it over. Evo said it should build like 15 pounds of boost just by cranking it for a few seconds. Or not boost, but uh, oil pressure. And then uh, plug it in and right now it's got the 91 tune in it. So it does have a majority of... 110 in it though. Okay, just gonna do a little look see real quick. Plug that fuel pump in. Okay. For all the marbles. So I'm gonna shut it down, check the oil. Yes, that is cool, I did it. So, the reward for all the knuckles, staying up late, was worth that moment right there. Now, now I'm excited to see, uh, I'm gonna run some of that, that, that premium, you know, there's some probably, uh, Oh, I'm just excited. Um, I just want to make sure I get a, a good full 110 fuel in it. And uh, then we switch it over. Big dog, super buzz, baby. 